Hi guys, thank you for joining me. Tomorrow morning will be a solar eclipse. Many consider this a bad omen, but if you wish to get up early tomorrow and watch the eclipse where the moon takes a bite out of the sun, it will happen at 4.12 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. But if you're living north and east of the line running roughly from Edmonton, Alberta to Des Moines, Iowa, down through Savannah, Georgia, you can still see a partial eclipse. Those in the northerly regions fortunate enough to see it at 5.49 a.m. And the maximum eclipse will happen at 6.41 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The ring, as they call it, when it becomes a full eclipse, will best be seen in Canada as the path begins on the north shoreline of Lake Superior and northwest Ontario and the Canadian Arctic tundra. Here in the United States, we won't have the full ring effect. Maximum full effect in Chicago, Illinois will be at 518 a.m. Minneapolis, Minnesota will be at 529 a.m. New York City at 532 a.m. Toronto, Ontario, 540 a.m. Washington, D.C., 5.45 a.m. Cleveland, Ohio, 5.55 a.m. Knoxville, Tennessee at 6.21 a.m. And for those of you in London, it will be 10.12 a.m. The annular solar eclipse is when the moon is at the farthest point from the Earth and it appears very small. The whole moon passes in front of the sun, creating what looks like a donut hole in the middle of the star. Evidently, also, northern Alaska will be able to see a partial eclipse before, during, and just after sunrise. So you can see it from parts of Canada, much of Canada, as well as parts of Europe, Asia, northern Africa, and the Caribbean. Never look at the sun without special eye protection. It will damage your eyes, even if it's partially covered by the moon. You should wear what's called uh, solar viewing or eclipse glasses throughout the entire crossing. Regular sunglasses will not help protect your eyes. Many ancient cultures believed it was a bad sign when uh, the sun vanished from the sky behind the moon. In Vietnam, some people believe that the solar eclipse was caused by a giant frog devouring the sun, while the Vikings believed that it was because wolves were eating the sun. In ancient China, they believed it was a dragon having a meal of the sun. According to ancient Hindu mythology, the identity Rahu is beheaded by gods for capturing and drinking Amrita, the god's nectar. Rahu head flies off into the sky and swallows the sun, causing a eclipse. Native Americans in the northwestern United States, uh, Pomo, tell a story of a bear that started a fight with the sun and took a bite out of it. In fact, the Pomo name for the solar eclipse is Sun Got Bit by a Bear. The ancient Greeks believed that a solar eclipse was a sign of angry gods and that it was the beginning of disasters and destruction. In fact, many people around the world still see the eclipses as an evil omens that bring death, destruction, and disaster. Now, if you do a Google search about does a solar eclipse cause earthquakes, it says while the eclipse itself is unlikely to cause an earthquake, the increased tidal stresses during a new moon, which is required for a solar eclipse, could slightly increase the likelihood of a large earthquake. However, they are suggesting when large magnitude earthquakes are slightly more likely to occur during an eclipse. Here on Trembler, it says that um, an article published in Nature Geoscience, title Reconstruction Done by a Team of Japanese Scientists, appear to show that large subduction zones are highly sensitive to changes from tidal stress. By analyzing and simulating tides in the two weeks prior to a large event, such as the 2004 Sumatra 
2010 Chile, and 2011 Tohoku earthquakes. They found that earthquakes tend to occur at times of maximum stress during full or new moons. So even though the eclipse is tomorrow, we still have a two-week window to watch for increase in earthquakes, volcanic activity, etc. And hopefully you have clear skies during this time where you can watch for it. Yeah, take pictures, share them online if you happen to get up that early. Yeah, put down in your comments, guys, if you're going to watch it and if you did watch it and what you thought about it. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.